responsibility realm, the how to get a job realm, isn't just who you are, but how you relate to other people. Uh, Henry Tarshfell was the father of uh, social identity theory. He said, uh, I shall define a group as a category of people fulfilling two criteria. First, an individual identifies themselves as belonging to the category, and second, that it has some emotional significance to them. And I think that's really important, and especially online, is if there's no real emotional significance to who you consider yourself or who you put yourself forward as online, as personal branding, um, then that's really going to fall down. I think I see a lot of people with these professional social media accounts that say nothing at all and are really boring because they're just not passionate about it, they're just not emotional, are emotionally attached to that. Um, and I think the people that really do make a difference online and the people that are really engaging online are those people that you, are just so passionate you could listen to them talk about anything even if it doesn't particularly interest them. Cleon with a K, K-L-E-O-N. Um, uh, and he wrote a whole blog post recently about how he came up with this, I'm a writer who draws, because society doesn't want you to do two things. I think that in this kind of capitalism that we live in, society wants you to find one thing that you do really well and repeat it again and again and again and again. Do this one thing really well, make a lot of money doing it, and then repeat it for someone else, and then repeat it again, and then repeat it again. But the societal ambition of that is an antithesis to actual personal development. What's rewarding for a society is one person doing the same thing well and again and again, but actually, personally, that's not very rewarding. What's rewarding is trying out new things and doing different uh, types of things. So, um, so he kind of came up with this uh, kind of noun, a verb thing, where she says maybe society can cope with you doing two things, uh, but only uh, if you use one of them as a noun and one of them as a verb. Which is, is a, I mean, it's a funny way of looking at it, but I do think that we should, the, the, the whole point of this is trying to narrow ourselves down into uh, the two things that, that we do uh, best. And I think this kind of shows uh, a broad range uh, for an employer. If an employer is looking at that, you're not just that person that is exactly the same as everyone else that's done a degree and insert subject here. Um, but you're adding something else. But then you're not overwhelming them with an absolute ton of things that could be. Um, uh, Austin Cleon said the best way of doing this is a noun and a verb. So he is a writer who draws. Um, I've seen other people uh, describe themselves as like a uh, creative uh, that does photography or an artist uh, who writes or that kind of thing. It's really easy for creatives. If you're an engineer, that could be a bit harder, but you could be an engineer who surfs. That could be who you are. To own your own space, I really think uh, that having that whole thing of social media is no, I don't have social media. That's, that's absolutely brilliant. But everybody's online in some form. And everybody can be found online in some form. Obviously, more or less. Some people are more careful with it. Some people are less careful with it. Um, but I do think that owning your own space is really important. A great way to own your own space um, is who's got a LinkedIn profile? I've got a LinkedIn profile. Yes. You should definitely get a LinkedIn profile if you don't have one. Uh, why? First, the, the, the number one reason for me is that LinkedIn profiles are, or LinkedIn is great at search engine optimization. They are absolutely amazing at that. So if you type in someone's name, chances are their LinkedIn profile is going to come up higher than their Facebook, it's going to come up higher than their Twitter account. And on Facebook and Twitter, I talk some absolute rubbish, but on LinkedIn I try and keep things professional. Um, just because it's the nature of the platform. Also, my LinkedIn profile is pretty much my CV, um, which is great. People say to me, how do I write a CV? But I just say, just answer every question LinkedIn asks you and take a look at your profile. And that's probably all the stuff that should be there. Um, how you then present it is obviously another thing. Uh, but that's for me, is the, is the greatest uh, thing about LinkedIn. Um, but owning your own space is really important.